Welcome to Sylvia Stingray. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sylvia, your Yuri Manwa Translator. Hey guys, good day. We present you the new chapter of Miss Gu and Miss Sue. Chapter 95. This is a proposal. Well, let's find it. How should, right now, is breathing a sigh of relief. Well, since the two of them were already together, and it was a Valentine's Day. Tosho said to her, Okay, I don't want you to think about it anymore. There are still dozens of minutes before the day is over, and I want to take you to somewhere else. Oh, this is it, right now. Since Shaozu's mom already agreed to her and Shaojing's relationship, Shaozu, did you really want to surprise her? Well, Shaojing, Right now, she is asking which place Xiao Su is going to take her. Xiao Su said to her, you will find out a moment. Xiao Su, right now, start driving again. Rashly, she turned right. Well, this is really her surprise to her. For Xiao Jing, right now, she was really curious. Well, she's like a little cat who don't know where to go. Especially, the car suddenly stopped. Well, looking at the place, it seems that Shaoshu chose a sea view. It seems to be romantic. Shaoshu said to her, You, wait for me here. I will go to the convenience stores across the bridge to buy something. Oh, this is really a surprise, right? Looking at her, she's like a little fox. I want to trick a little cat. Touching now. She is waiting for her originally. She was looking around on the view. Well, probably. Now oh, she feels a miss. She has on the beautiful place. Together with Shao Su. It's truly a Valentine's Day. Out of Kofol. Eating. It's so late that there are so many people. Still wandering outside. Now oh, she's been alert. However, it's quite rare. That cruise ships are still open at this point. So, a cruise ship is really coming, one by one. Watching, she waited for so long, spacing back and forth. Why hasn't Suhishi's come back yet? Right now, she's getting bored. I repeat that someone is watching. I better go find her. Well, right now, Watching, she looks really worried. There's something wrong with her. Now, across the bridge, she was walking on the street and there's a lot of people walking there also. Right now, she's looking around, trying to find Xiao Su. But still, Xiao Su is not here. Well, Xiao Jing, exactly 12 midnight, the clock on the tower is already ringing. Oh, this is getting crazy. Where is Xiao Su? Xiao Jing, she looks really worried. Suddenly, someone's interrupted her, announcing Happy Valentine's Day. People is getting crazy. Wow, look, so many ships coming. Well, Xiao Jing, right now, she looks really surprised. Still, she was finding Xiao Su. Right now, she suddenly stopped to watch the ship coming. Right now, Xiao Jing was looking around. She already see a lot of ships coming. In front of her, turns out there's a firework greeting her, Gu Xiaojing, Happy Valentine's Day. Xiaojing, she looks really surprised. This is, wow, so romantic and generous. The people are stunned. This Gu Xiaojing. Xiaojing thinks, if I open my eyes and those ships are still there, oh, she really can't believe it. I'm not gonna open my eyes. Well, she's still doubting. This is her imagination. Suddenly, there is someone in her. Open your eyes. Well, it turns out she was really surprised. Xiao Shu was here. Now, her heart is thumping. Well, her girlfriend suddenly popped up. Now, she wants to surprise her. Xiao Shu, she was really sweet. This is a lot of efforts. And it was clearly that she really loved Xiao Jing. Xiao Jing, she take away her hands. Also said to her, you are gorgeous. 
Osho get her hands. Now she's holding it. Well, while she was speaking, Osho said to her, Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, this is really the sweetest girl for both of them. Xiao Jing, her heart is pounding, was really in shock. Till now, she was blushing. Well, she really can't believe it. It was warm and moist. Oh, she became teary. You've been here for so long, and you're just preparing for this. Well, maybe she was right. Chao Su said to her, It's not over yet. Oh, what again? What other surprise? What going to do? Well, it turns out, she was holding a flower back of her hands. Now she take it off to give her to her. Well, Shaosu said originally wanted to complete these things earlier, but as still as a little late. Oh, she looks a little sad, cause there's a lot of things needs to be done today. But right now, right now, it got delayed. Finally, the two of them together right now. Shaosu, right now, she want to pick up her coat. Well, who could it be? It's really a surprise. Suddenly, the ring popped out. You will love me more without asking. Just hope you can like me more and more. Xiao Su said to her. Seeing and hearing Xiao Su, she was really shocked. Xiao Jing, she can't speak. She was only looking at her. It was really a big surprise for her. Xiao Su, right now, she was teasing Xiao Jing and said to her, don't you want it? Well, for Xiao Jing right now. Take her head. Well, she must be really like it. Looking at her action, she looks really serious. For Xiao Shu. Xiao Jing, can you let me put it on for you? Oh, this girl? She was really the sweetest person for Xiao Jing. Xiao Jing, she really loves her so much. Xiao Jing, right now, looks really facile. Well, she looks really cute. Until now, she was not sinking on herself. She also said to her, Once you put it on, you can never take it off. And you can never leave me. You understand now? Oh, is she really proposing? A kind of a weird things. It look like she really want to possess her. After proposing to her, also she moved closer to her. Said to her, not speaking is the default. Well, she was right. Judging right now, she really needs to answer her. Also said to her, Judging, I love you. Now, both of them are hugging each other. Hey guys, this is my birthday surprise to you. Hope you like it all. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.